Welcome to E39 Source, another video with my 2001 E46 330 Xi. Um, this is a 10 of 01 for reference with the beige interior and the armrest. Uh, in this video, we're going to be detailing the process or processes required for replacing the center console. Um, taking a couple steps on the inside of this car to make it nicer, um, just clean it up. It's going to be my winter car, but I'm still going to be spending time inside. So I've already done the shifter and the boot and these little doors here, so that's gotten pretty nice. I've replaced the cup holders already, which incidentally is our first step of replacing the center console. I don't really like how that fits together, but uh, if you pull it like that, the cup holders will come out. Then moving on to the coin storage tray, lift up on that, it'll pop out as well. Set that aside. Uh, you may have different inserts in here. Uh, regardless of what they are, you're just going to grab them and uh, pull them straight up. Uh, we're then going to move over here to the parking brake, elevate that a little bit, loosen up the boot from the top first, like this, and then the bottom is going to peel out like that. Then we're just going to lift it forwards like such. Uh, my reasons for replacing the center console. It's just dirty, it's chipped up, it's peeling pretty badly right there, which I don't like. Um, same deal in the back. Um, I've also replaced these cup holders here. If we open that up, push it down a little bit further, the ashtray will pop out. Let's remove the ashtray and set that with our other parts. Below that, we're going to find two Phillips head screws. Let's make those two screws the first ones we, we remove. Little note on those Phillips heads. They look like this, and they're actually little clips, not so much actual screws. With those out of the way, we should be able to simply lift up on the rear ashtray like that and remove it. Uh, note there's going to be an electrical connection in the back for the illumination of the ashtray. Um, take a look at this. It's a little dark in here. I apologize for the lighting. but. Um, Suppose we wouldn't have to remove that, it'd be a lot easier to get it out of the way. I'll figure that out and let you know. Simply uh, grab a hold of the wire and give it a tug and it'll come out. So, those uh, go with the other parts. Uh, while we're back here, let's remove these two Phillips screws as well. These are going to be actual screws and there will be two of them securing the uh, back part of the center console. Uh, at this point in the video, I'm going to say that we're working on an E46 with the armrest. I think most of the US cars had the armrest, but if you're doing an armrest delete or you don't have one already, uh, the part number is going to vary slightly. Um, check the video description for the part number of what I'm messing with right now, the center console and beige. Notice or note that if yours is black or gray, it's of course going to be a different part. So here is this a uh, little bit loose already, so that is good. Let's flip the armrest up. I'm not totally sure how we're going to get it out from around that. Um, figure that out in a little bit. Uh, we're going to focus our attention up here now. There's going to be two screws that hold the front of this in as well. And to get that out, we need to loosen up our shift boot here. If you've got a manual, you have it a little bit easier, I think. Um, just grab the leather, kind of give it a tug, and slide it up out of the way like this. That's going to reveal two more Phillips right down here. That's responsible for holding in the wood trim as well as the front of the center console. So uh, at this point, we will remove those screws. You can remove it as well if you want. Just pull it back towards you a little bit, and then you can set it up on top of those doors, being careful not to scratch them. Um, and those two screws that we just removed also hold in that part of the console. So at this point, um, the only thing that's going to be holding that down is going to be the uh, actual armrest. So I will figure that out and get back to you. With the armrest folded down, we're going to remove this uh, little piece of trim that sits behind the armrest. Um, it's all held in with plastic kind of pop rivets, so if you've got a pry tool or sharp fingernails or a flathead screwdriver, you can gently pry that up around the back edge, the right edge, as well as the left edge, strategically positioning your seats or just shoving your hand down there so we can then pull that out. If you're going to be saving this piece, be a little bit more careful with it if you're going to junk it like I am then don't worry about it. Uh, I think it's just gonna be easier to get that out of the way. Now we can rotate our armrest vertical, and I think this whole thing, I'm gonna need definitely both hands, it's just gonna lift right out over top of it. Um, let's first note that we wanna push our little wire here for the rear ashtray through the hole so we don't rip that out. And then we're also gonna have to articulate the parking brake boot to get it to fit through there without ripping that off. And the third thing we're gonna wanna note are these uh, switches up here which likely push out through the top. I'll have to get a look under there. 
um, but we need to be careful with that as well. It takes about 10 seconds of uh, just carefully pulling and prying a little bit. Um, if you're able to squeeze this boot a little bit, maybe rotate it, it'll fit through the hole no problem. Uh, in your final stages of pulling this up, uh, you, you might need to rotate this a little bit. Um, again, watch out for that wire back there. And then the last thing we do is unplug the central locking switch as well as the hazard switch, which is this connector right here. And then we're gonna squeeze these metal tabs towards the center and push up and we'll be able to remove that switch. Now would be a great time to clean all this stuff because it's pretty dirty. And then uh, installation will be reverse process of removal. Here's our finished product. Um, couple imperfections I noticed. My boot now doesn't look too great. It's original and I'm not replacing it because it's $105 and that adds absolutely no function to this car. So I'm not gonna bother with that. Another thing, it's not a perfect color match between the new cup holders and the new console. I also don't care about that. It's not a functional thing. These two pieces match. The center console is a tad lighter, whatever. It's an OEM BMW part. It's the way it goes. The back cleaned up very well. Looks really nice now. Um, a lot better than it was. It was just peeling a lot. So installation's just the reverse of removal. As I said before, there's two screws here, the two screws, and then the two plastic screws back here. Uh, sandwich everything back in together. It's a little bit harder sliding the new console on over this. You may have to adjust your handbrake position. We'll definitely adjust this position a little bit, but it all goes back together pretty well. So hope that helped you guys out. Leave me some comments and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.